Okay, so we want to consider um, making you know materials that are, are going to be sustainable. They're going to be energy efficient, and, and so property that one property that's very important. So you want to design a efficient uh, car. Uh, well, the density is going to be very important. The density of the materials that you use will be important. You're looking for, for low density to minimize mass. Uh, that would be the case with aerospace, with, with so many things. But even products that end up um, being stationary in use have to be distributed around the world. And uh, <clears throat> so density is is certainly uh, an important material property to consider. And we've also spoken about the Young's modulus. Um, Young's modulus, typically, we, like for mechanical designs, we we often want uh, a high Young's modulus, something that's, that's stiff. Uh, is that a term uh, that describes the Young's modulus, the stiffness. <clears throat> so what I wanted to, to, to do is I wanted to consider if we were to plot the Young's modulus, E, versus the density. And the density, we actually use this Greek letter rho. Uh, to to describe the, or as our symbol for the Young's mo uh, for the the density. So uh, let's let's plot then down here density rho, and this is Young's modulus on the vertical axis, Young's modulus. Okay, and <clears throat> what what we could do then is we could take you know all the materials in the world and position them on these axes. And if we wanted to compress a lot of data, we could go by um, orders of 10, um, no, orders of magnitude, and uh, that, that would be a logarithmic scale. Some of you uh, may be familiar with these these charts. There's a, a very famous um, materials engineer, um, Mike Ashby. And so these, these, these charts are often called Ashby charts. It's, it's a, Pioneer in the field, and they, they, they're immediately recognized. <coughs> excuse me, recognized by people um, who study this. But it's, it's a real nice way of looking at things. So, say we wanted to, uh, we're going to position some some uh, materials here, like for example, wood. Okay, you know, what's the modulus of wood, and how does that compare to its density? Um, so that you know, you'd have certainly a range of of um, properties depending on whether it's a hardwood, a softwood, what direction it is relative to the grain, that sort of thing. What about uh, some, some metal alloys? You know, where, where, where would these be? Well, you have a sense, I mean, compared to wood, they would have a higher Young's modulus, they'd be higher, but they'd also have a higher density. Right? So we'd probably have a lot of our, our metal alloys somewhere in this vicinity here, uh, metals. <clears throat> what about, uh, you know, something like a a foam, um, a polymer foam, or something like that. <clears throat> well, could be very low density, uh, but also quite low modulus. What about uh, what? What sort of things do we do we use to make really um, high for, for high for very demanding applications, like a, a you know, sporting goods, expensive sporting goods that you need to be lightweight but but stiff, a tennis racket. Um, expensive uh, car parts and uh, a lot of uh, components in the aerospace. Well, they're made from carbon fiber. Um, so you have to write that as carbon fiber reinforced polymer. I'll write that out for you over here. CFRP is carbon fiber. That's got that nice uh, sort of weave uh, like pattern on the on the surface. It uh, looks uh, looks really pretty. People like to use it in design, but uh, it, it's for uh, for real mechanical reasons. It's uh, it's used because it has quite a, a high modulus and a strength, in fact, relative to its its density. So it's got a lower density um, than metals. In fact, <clears throat> I should be a little careful here with how high I, I position that relative to the metals. It might be a little. It's it's not. It's it's similar properties, uh, similar modulus to metals, um, but uh, substantially lower density. Uh, reinforced polar. Okay. So, so we've positioned a few things um, here, <clears throat> and um, it's interesting to note that this vicinity of the chart here, very high modulus and low density, is, is essentially absent of material. So a lot of current research is looking to fill that or towards that area of the chart. Um, various composite materials, 
and <clears throat> um, uh, honeycomb structures, um, things like that. <clears throat> 